In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I exercise you, evil devil, enemy of truth, by the awful and holy name of all powerful God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, to tell me immediately how your name is called. I adjure you by the holy angels, thrones, and dominions, principalities, and powers, and authorities, and by the many-eyed cherubim and six-winged seraphim, to tell me immediately how your name is called. I adjure you by the supremely pure Maria, Mother of God, by the twelve and seventy holy apostles, by the terrible and unimpeachable judgment, and by the holy blood that flowed from the side of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the twenty-four presbyters forever presiding at the invisible throne of Almighty God and singing the unhalting song, and by the wondrous works of all-powerful God, the King of kings and Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the Word of God made flesh, risen from the dead, that have occurred in heaven and on the earth by the holy patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the saints who lived before the law, by the holy 14,000 infants, those slaughtered under Herod, by all holy men and women, those who pleased holy God in their lifetime. I adjure all you evil spirits, by all the saints, Saint Pantalaemon the Healer, Saint Gerasimus of Kefalonia, Saint Nikita of Navigarod, Saint George of Trophy Bears, Saint Demetrius, by the holy Saint Elijah the Prophet, by the holy angels and archangels, Michael and Gabriel, Raphael, that you tell me your names. See the cross of the Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Behold the holy cross of our Lord, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, Yeshua Nastri Vimaleka Yahudim. Depart, evil devil, depart, vanquished. Jesus Christ uproots and conquers you, the Lion of Judah. He of the root of David, the Emmanuel, the Savior. It is Christ who reigns. Christ holds power. Christ slays the dragon. Christ grants life. Holy, holy, holy Lord Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with his glory. Hosanna in the highest and who is blessed through the ages. Amen. In the name of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let God arise and let now his enemies be scattered. Flee and let them flee from his countenance. As smoke vanish, so may they disappear, as wax melts away from the face of fire, and show from the burning heat of the sun. Cursed devil, why do you delay and not speak your name? Give glory to the holy God, take fright at these varied and many oaths of exorcism. I adjure you, whoever you are, and wherever you are, wherever you're hiding at any time, by our Lord Jesus Christ, speak your name. I adjure you by him, for whom every knee bends in heaven and on the earth and under the world, that you tell your name. Give me your name. I adjure you by him who made himself of no reputation and assumed the form of a servant. Tell what your name is. I adjure you by that blood, that red, warm, living blood, that same as that which poured out upon the cross of Christ. Speak your name, say it plainly. I, the servant of God, ask what is your name? Tell whether you have other accomplices with you as well. Who do you serve? Who's your master? What's your master's name? Answer me. I put you under oath in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I bind you now to an excruciating torment in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Holy angels of God, descend from heaven and bind this devil who refuses to give me his name. 
and begin to destroy him and torment him in total agony and suffering. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, steadily increase his pain, steadily increase his torment, steadily increase his suffering and his agony until he gives me his name. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tell whether you have other accomplices with you. Answer me. And how you are and from what class, what level, what rank, or what your leader is called. In what power and authority, or where and in which place you are dwelling. Whether you come and go at various times before coming out of this person. You must tell me to whom you are subordinate. Tell me. Tell me when you emerge and come out what sign you will make when you emerge and come out and depart vanquished. I adjure you by the Holy Spirit, the living and almighty breath of almighty God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that revealed you through Peter, the apostle, supreme among the apostles, and Simon Magus, and Canupsus, and Gistus, by the Apostle John, the theologian on the island of Patmos. Answer what I have asked you, wily devil. Humble yourself. Hades has been appointed as your seat of power. Therein is your dwelling, so there is no time to wait. The Lord is soon to arrive in the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Come down, Holy Spirit, upon this devil and torture it until it gives me its name and all the answers that I ask, all the answers truthfully. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ will soon arrive, and in judging the earth, he will punish you and all those with you and all your accomplice force in hell fire, where the fires never go out and the worms never die. In the second death, the outer darkness will weeping and gnashing of teeth, giving you over to the outer darkness where there is no the unsleeping worm and the unquenchable fire, speak your name. For great is the fear of God and great the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. O Lord God of our salvation, Son of the living God, who was born by the cherubim, above all dominions, principalities, authorities, and powers, you are great and fearsome to all around you. You are the one who set the heavens like a vault and made the earth in your might, who directs the universe in your wisdom. When earthquakes occur in the heaven, from the foundations its pillars are unshaken. You speak and the sun does not shine. You sealed the stars, you forbid the seas and dried them up. Authorities and dominions hide from your wrath, and the rock trembles before you. You have liberated, you have liberated the gates of brass and demolished the bars of iron. You bound the mighty one and smashed his vessels. By your cross you cast down the tyrants. You drew in the serpent with the hook of your humanity. Having cast him down, you bound him with the hooks in the gloom of Tartarus. As the same Lord, the hope of those who place their confirmation on you, and the wall of might for those whose expectation is in you. Consigned to the second death, the lake of fire, every human body, soul, and spirit, every demon, every devil, and fallen angel, every unbeliever, all those who attack the Holy Orthodox, Catholic, and the Apostolic Church, those who are on the old calendar, all of us who call upon thy name, Drive away and transform all diabolical actions and all satanic indictments, all slanders of the adversary and the powers lying under this roof and every roof. Free those bearing the sign which is awesome against the demons, the forces of darkness and all evil spirits, all unclean spirits, the cross of your victory, and calling upon your gracious name from possession by him and from those wandering about under this roof and all roof and all places everywhere. Yea, Lord, you drove away legions of demons of the demons and unclean spirits by which the deaf and the dumb were held. These you commanded to depart and not to return again. And you have consumed all armies of our invisible enemies, seen and unseen, fleshly or bodiless, known or unknown, near and far away, all who attack us, and have made wise the faithful who have known you. For you said, Behold, I give you power to trample underfoot the snakes and the scorpions and all the powers of the enemies. 
preserve all master all who live in this house, in this building, in all places, where they work and where they visit, where they eat and drink and sleep, where they rest, and where they call upon your holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, in holy orthodoxy, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, those who make the sign of the cross of holy orthodoxy, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, from all harm and every temptation from below, delivering them from fear of the feeble one, and the arrows that fly by day from things receding from the darkness and attacks by demons of midday. Let your servants and your children delight in your help and preserved in armies of angels, fulfilling and faithfully sing with one accord. The Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. And what can any spirit do to me? Again, I will fear no evil for you are with me. As you are my confirmation, O God, Abba, Father, Creator of heaven and earth, mighty Master, Prince of Peace, and Father of the age to come. For your kingdom is an eternal kingdom. To you alone is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. To you alone is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is accomplished. May the holy water of your name be sprinkled in all places. Amen. In the name of the Father, amen, and of the Son, amen, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. It is done. Amen. 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christos Anesti, Christ is risen, truly is risen.